Since Colorado joined the Pac-12, they're 0-4 against UW. But oh, by the way, they haven't played the last two years. And you can throw that stat out the window when you look at the championship matchup against Washington and Colorado Friday night on Fox at 6 o'clock. But the stats you do want to dive into, well, they're brought to you by PFF College. We do it every single week. We dive into the nuances beyond the X and O's and look at the numbers. And the biggest number that jumps out to me right now is the quarterbacks off the bat. When Bliss, both these quarterbacks do an incredible job. Sefo Lufau completing 63% of his passes when there's pressure. Jake Browning, 68% of his passes. So how do they deal with pressure? Well, Colorado, they're going to bring it on Jake Browning all evening long. They blitz over 40% of the time. Against Utah, they blitz 51% of the snap. More than half the game, Jim Levitt, their D coordinator, is getting after the quarterback. And UW, contrary, they're only blitzing 16% of the time. But when they do it, they make sure they bring something exotic. You're not necessarily always prepared for that. So look for these quarterbacks in this area. The other element of the quarterback play that has a really unique when you look at PFF College is Jake Browning. He's got the second highest percentage of yards in the air. So that means when he throws it 63% of the time, the balls that he's putting up, they're in the air. That means there's minimal yak for his receivers. They're not catching in and running very often. Longer routes, he's got more time in the pocket. He's taking more shots down the field. With Sefo Lufau, only 52% of his yards are gained when the ball is in the air. So that's the run pass option scheme that Colorado, I think, does better than anyone in the country. Sefo Lufau getting the ball out in 2.42 seconds per attempt. That is big time when you look at this young man. Now, let's go to the running backs. Everybody wants to talk about Philip Lindsay. He's forced 44 missed tackles on the season. That's third in the Pac-12 conference tied with somebody you might have heard of. Christian McCaffrey, Miles Gaskin, oh, by the way, 38 missed tackles. He's four, so they've done a nice job. But I really think the wideouts and corners of this game are going to be critical. The receivers of Colorado, they want to throw the ball deep, 20-plus yards. For Colorado, when they throw the ball over 20 yards, they got 15 grabs on the season, and there were 17 catchable balls, so only two misses. John Ross, oh, by the way, and Dante Pettis, when they've been throwing it to them 20 yards or more, they don't have one drop on the season. Absolutely balled out 23 out of 23. That's pretty impressive, but they're going up against big-time secondaries. The corners of Colorado. Cheetah Bay, Awuzie has not given up a touchdown all season long. And by the way, he wasn't on the first team all Pac-12. Going to be interesting to watch him, Tedrick Thompson, Akella Witherspoon, two guys that joined him on the second team, not the first team. Do they try to make a statement? And UW on the opposite side, they've given up one touchdown by their corners, and it was the freshman of the year, Taylor Rapp. So I love this ball game. It'll probably be one up front. Jimmy Gilbert, keep an eye on him for Colorado, fourth in total pressure with 41. And Vita Vea, number one against the run for defensive tackles in the Pac-12. Big time up front for both of these teams. Overall, when you look at the numbers of this game, you can mix and match it all day long. But it's the number one defense, number two defense. Two of the most efficient quarterbacks in the entire country. And you got explosive players on the outside for both of these teams and running backs who will make you miss. Who can make plays on critical downs and distances? Who can make plays in third downs when the game's on the line? That's what this comes down to. But as we like to, as we get gearing up for this ballgame, let's nerd out on the numbers with PFF College.